So into our previous videos, we have discussed how we can create your virtual machines using different interfaces. We have also seen how we can resize our virtual machine. Now here in this video, I'm going to show you how we can manage additional disks to your virtual machine, where we are going to create and attach the disk to our virtual machine, which we have created into our previous videos. So for that, let us move to our portal. So I'm on portal and again back to the same screen of your VM3 and I'm going to add additional disk to this particular virtual machine here. So as of now we can see we have only one OS disk. So already we know about OS disk now which is for your uh, virtual machine and when you install your operating system generally uh, the operating system get installed into this OS disk. And this is your standard disk size of this disk is 128 GB and you have read and write caching over here. Now again if I want to add some data disk through your portal you can directly add this disk here. You can provide the LAN name, uh, LAN uh, you know LAN is nothing but when you create your storages you need to define a LAN number over here and the name of your desk if you have any name so we can define any name to your uh, desk here so i'm going to create a disk so i'll be able to create a disk if you have some existing disk you can create uh, you know select your existing disk as of now i don't have a new disk so i'll give the name as new so you can see it is showing you there are no disk available right so you need to create a disk for creating the disk you have an option here create the disk directly so it will take you to create and manage disk okay so this is the portal where generally you can create your disk here so for example i'm going to create a disk one existing rg1 account type is your standard okay a premium is not available to us as of now as we are running in free version and the type of storage you require either you require a blob or snapshot if you want to create a blob storage you can or if you want to create an empty disk storage so you can so right now i'm using an empty disk storage and the space of your disk i require is very much minimum space i require for storing data just for demonstration purpose i'm going to use so i'll be using 80 gb that's enough for me and create this disk once this cre disk is created, uh, you will be able to find this disk into your disk available into your system and then you can connect this disk to your machine. So uh, we need to wait till it's getting created and you know validated and then created and once it is there, once it is created, you will be able to find this disk into the list of your virtual machine disk so you can add this disk directly to your machine. So uh, we'll wait for a while and now you can see here it is connected. So we got this disk one You can select this disk. The size of the disk is 80 GB. This is a standard LRS. Encryption is not enabled. The caching we can define as read and write. And once it is there, if you want to connect it, you can uh, by default connect or if you want to detach it, so you can detach it. So this is how generally we have seen how we can create a disk and how we can attach it to your system. Again, I want to attach the same. I'll define the name of the disk, disk1, done, right? And we need to just save the same. So it, it will automatically update your virtual machine disk and you will find an additional data disk over here, which is connected. We'll move back to your virtual machine we'll move back into your vm once it is updated we'll get the information that is connected to your disk data one you can see you got the notification successfully updated virtual machine disk and disk is added same way if i want to add this disk and uh, i'm going to edit it first of all wait a while i'll disconnect it so it is detached and save this if i want to delete this disk you need to go into your resource group rg3 you find disk one available over here this one okay i want to delete this move into it so here whenever you want to delete any of your resource first move into it and then delete the same right so uh, let us you know wait a while it is detaching so hence we are not able to you know 
delete this disk though. So delete is not available to us. Once it is updated, we will be able to delete this particular disk. So you can see it is done. I'll just refresh it out and uh, we will be able to delete this disk now. So you can see you can delete it from here. So it is deleting. Same way if I want to create the same disk uh, like disk 1 or disk 2 we can name it as through your uh, PowerShell or your EZ we can do that. So just I'll take an example I'll, I'll just run this PowerShell from here. I don't want bash I want a PowerShell. Okay. And now I'm going to create a disk from my PowerShell. So we are here on our PowerShell just uh, clear the screen. So for a disk configuration I'll give the command disk config equals to new azure rm disk config azure rm disk config and then location I'm going to define it in ECS and then I'm going to create the disk as empty disk right so of now and I'm going to define the disk size here so I want to define the disk size as in GBs so I'll just define in GBs I just require a 40 GB of disk for example so I added this then the next thing what we need to do is we need to create this disk so for creating the disk I'm going to crea create the disk with your name data disk okay and then I'm going to create a disk with name new as your RM disk okay with your into your resource group name rg3 and I'm going to define the disk name as disk2 and does this 2 I'll be creating using my disk2 configuration okay so I'm going to define disk config so it will add all the particular descriptions of this disk into this dd variable and the disk will be created so let us even check over here into your rg3 we'll get the disk this is your rg3 we should get the disk with name disk2 so we found this disk now this disk is not connected to any of your machines so now I'm going to find out the machine for this particular disk I'm going to define the variable vm equals to get azure rm vm okay hyphen resource group name we are going to define that is rg3 where our disk is located as well as our virtual machines are located and the name of the virtual machine I'm going to define which uh, in which I'm going to add this disk is vm3 okay so it is getting the information of this disk once the information has been feeded I'll define um, some commands which I'm going to add into my vm variable so for that I'm just going to define it's a bit slow vm here I'm going to add one more command into your azure like into your azure rm vm and I'm going to add your data disk here into your VM I'm going to define the VM and name of your machine as uh, sorry name of your disk which we have created that is disk2 and I'm going to create this with a create option I'm going to attach it and then I'm going to manage this disk ID and here I'm going to define disk2 which we have created okay and dot id and then we need to define the lun i'll define lun one because by default you generally get the lun as zero so here i'm going to use that one okay what is the wrong over here okay so um it's showing you the disk id okay so i'll just define the data disk over here sorry so i'll just define dd that is the data disk which we have created hit enter it's been created it's been added to your virtual machine let us have a look over here we'll move into your virtual machine i'll just minimize this vm3 i'll move into disks 
it's updating as of now will require a little time for it and you can find here it is updating now as I've refreshed it and once it is updated we are going to manage this disk using our PowerShell so I'll just move to your PowerShell back and here I want to create some partitions to this particular disk so for that I'll just define the information I'll get the information where I'll check for the partition styles which are available partition style is equal to equal to and I'll define the raw so I want a raw partition size okay and here I'm going to initialize this particular disk initialize disk and the partition style I require that is MBR and then I'm going to define my maximum size of this particular disk which I'll be using before that I'm just going to define its pass through again I'll pipe it out with some other command where I'm going to create a new partition into my disk okay and this partition I want to assign a drive letter so automatically it should assign the drive letter and also it should provide maximum size of this disk so I'm not allocating any size to this particular disk and then I'm going to format this partition so again I'll pipe it out format volume okay which I'm going to create the same volume I'm going to fetch to format it with the file system NTFS okay and here I'm going to create a new file system here new file system label as disk2 so we are just defining the label to our disk and here we are going to confirm the same okay and confirm I'll just define it as false hit enter and now what will happen you'll be creating a disk partition into this particular disk and it will be formatted using your NTFS okay so um, for this we need to move into your machine and uh, we'll see uh, what is the disk actually it is and what's the file system of this particular disk so we are into this disk as of now you can see this is the information this is the overview of this particular disk right activity logs overview right so this is a disk this is attached so, so you can see the status of this disk it is attached over here Uh, it's also providing you a notification that your Azure now supports 32 GB of your premium disk as well. So these are the sizes uh, which we can use in two different uh, machines we generally have, the virtual machine sizes we have. And you can also check the um, existing performance and the build rest. And here you can see it is getting attached. And now I'm going to move into this particular virtual machine and we'll check whether the partitions are being created or not. So for that I'm just going to connect to this machine. So for connecting this machine I already have a RDP. So I'll just move into your RDP here which we have downloaded VM3 RDP. I'll just start it. Okay I'll connect it. I'll define the password for this machine here once we have done with it you are connected now I'll go and check for the partitions generally we have into our disk chip so our machine is started and now we will move into your disk management or we can even directly use so there are different options of accessing it PC right click over here and go for manage and here into manage you generally get this local server it takes a little time to get all the options available over here or you can directly access it through your command prompt like disk management.msc go into it and uh, once you move into it 
we can see it is asking you you must initialize a disk before logical disk manager can access it this is a disk 2 uh, by default it is selected MBR okay and uh, if you see over here into disk 1 by default uh, you got the drive letter as G drive letter and a partition has been created so this is a partition uh, there is a primary partition which has been created here so we have defined this partitions uh, the creation of the partition using our PowerShell same way we can also manage our servers and our local servers our file storages from here as well into this so we can see uh, the volumes which we have and it's loading right now so as we have not shown you graphically because it takes little time you can see this is the volume which we have created same way the disks which we have added into this particular system right so these are things what we have seen like how we can add machines how we can add a system uh, test drives and how we can use it how we can format it directly using the PowerShell without moving into your system so into our next video I'm going to show you how we can attach the storages how we can use these storages the external storages to your system and how we can create the account of your storage